All right, so you bricked your Motorola device and you're trying to figure out a way to fix it. The way we're going to do this today is we are going to review the Motorola Rescue and Smart Assistant tool. This link is in the description for the web page. It helps you recover dead Motorola devices. You can see that I have just gone through the recovery process. I didn't break it, I just wanted to reset my device. This process is also useful for th this. Just a word of warning, anytime that you use this piece of software, it will wipe your device completely. If your phone is bricked, then there's not really any way around that anyway. You've lost everything that is on your phone. But if you want to do this just to do kind of a factory reset or a a really thorough factory reset, then just keep that in mind that you'll need to keep, keep thorough backups. This link is in the description below. It's really simple. They go through and they say, install our PC client, connect your phone, explore the tool. And then you just go right over to the download page, which I have up right here, and it will download for Windows 10 or Windows 7. You will want to make sure that all drivers are installed. The best drivers that I've found lately have been in Windows Update. Just go over to View Additional Updates and you should be able to find your Windows Update or your driver updates in this section right here. I installed my phone driver updates just today actually, so they're 100% update for Motorola. The Motorola Rescue Tool does require that you have an account with Motorola. So if you don't have one already, just go over to the website and set that up so that you can log in when you start it up for the first time. When you're in the tool, the section you're going to want to go to for rescue is, and unbricking is this rescue button up at the top or the tab. They're gonna ask you for your IMEI. It's a really good idea to keep record of your IMEI information, but if you don't have your IMEI, then there is a way around that, and we're gonna go through that right now. This phone, I'm going to turn off completely. They have this section right here. It says how to find IMEI, and they go typing in star pound zero six pound. Well, this doesn't really help, help you if your device is bricked. If you don't have your box, then method, then looking at the box doesn't really help. On the Moto G7 Power, which we have for demonstration today, it doesn't have the IMEI information on the SIM tray like this. One area where you can still find your IMEI is if you can connect your device and you can get into the bootloader mode. So if you see here, they have instructions. They say power off your device, connect the, the phone to the PC using USB, and then press and hold the volume down and power key while you boot up your phone. And we're gonna do that right now. So this is volume up, volume down, power. And now we are in bootloader mode and you can see that the rescue tool automatically detected exactly which phone this was. It's Ocean, which is the Moto G7 Power. From here, we can just click Rescue, and it's asking if I want to rescue again because I just reset the phone. Normally, it will ask you if you want to download the file. It should be about two gigabytes. I'll just click OK, click Proceed, Proceed, and it's going to begin the rescue process. This takes a while because it, it takes some time to transfer all of this information over USB, so I'm just gonna cut the video at this point and come back once the phone is done. All right, it looks like it might be done. It's, a, it's looking for a reboot right now, and it says reboot complete. Cool, so we'll click OK, and then I'll click finish. and you can see that we're going into first boot. So this worked like a charm. It's actually a really easy to use tool. 
which is one of the reasons why I didn't think it was necessary to make a video about it, but one of the people in the comment section did have problems with bricking their Moto G7 power while following my guide, so I wanted to make sure that this is available for anyone else who has concerns about their phone if they do make a mistake during the flashing process and go into brick. There are some weird brick states where this software won't work as effectively. There are some more intense ways to do rescues, but this should work for most cases of bricking, as long as you don't panic like I did with my Moto G8 Plus and get that into a really hard brick state. If you have any questions, please drop them in the comments down below. Thanks for stopping by. This is Nick, signing out.